Dang it, I don't know if there is any other two high flowers. Like in the colors I want. There's actually plenty of two high flowers. <laughs> Guys, I have brand new merch available on my merch store. The link is in the description below, so make sure to grab it while you can before we change it out. Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode of X Life. And today we are here on the server and we have so much we are going to do. My area is coming along really, really well and it's looking so cute. The little islands that we added last episode look so adorable. I now can like run around my house without worrying about the crabs or the turtles. Very cute. But on that note, I want to map my area. I want to use the maps that I found from the different adventures and maybe put them on a wall. I'm thinking like there, I'll pop them maybe like this size and just sort of map out my whole area. And that's the thing what we're gonna start with. I think that could be cute. And then it means when I change things, I can update those certain maps. So I do have quite a few maps already. We'll go outside and I'm gonna stand over here and I'm gonna use my first one. So if I just right click this, so that's like this chunk. So if I then go just off of this map, which is like here, and then use this map, that's me got both. That basically encapsulates like all of my base, I'm not gonna lie to you all. <laughs> Cause like that's north. So yeah, that makes sense, north, south. The only other areas I need are my islands. So I'm gonna just grab an R2 and we'll do them as little squares, I think. I'm just gonna swim over here. I'm really like not a big map person in Minecraft apart from like following them. So this is a learning thing for me. Where's map three? Is that map three? Nope, that's map one. That's map three. Wait, I think I'm missing a bit. I think I'm missing a bit up there. Okay, I think that works. I'm gonna quickly hop in my broom just to make sure I get all of my areas on the map. That's that one done. This is the last one. One, I just need to fly up here a little bit and I can see what it looks like on a wall. Also, I done something on stream the other night. So I flattened out this area to kind of give it more of a slope rather than a hill. And this here is something I've put down as the base of what's going to be our lighthouse. Now I want to put a lighthouse here and then turn this slope into a big flower field. Similar to what Lizzie has, but I'll maybe choose more blue colors just to kind of match in the themes that I'm going for. It's a very blue area and I'm quite enjoying the aesthetic. So I think we're gonna kind of go for that and this will be different layers of flowers and I think it'll look really cute. And that's actually the other thing we are working on today. We are going to do our maps and then we're going to do some flower breeding and building a lighthouse. So I only have four maps, so it means I only need four item frames for now to do this. If I'm doing it all correct, which there's a very high probability I'm not. But I think doing it like up here is a good spot just because there's not much else over here. Okay, you're that bit, you are that bit, you are that bit, and you are that bit. And look, that's my area. So there's my little forest entry waste on area. There's my house, my path that goes up along the mountains, my barn with the path. We've got my two little islands and then my lighthouse. So this is actually a good little encapsulation of my area. These four chunks is where I basically live, which I quite like. And then obviously I can just update these maps every time I need to like add some things. Like once I put in this flower field, I'll then update the map and it will look really cute. Okay, we're gonna go and lay all of our flowers down outside in a line just so I can kind of see what I've got, what I need to go searching for and work out that sort of stuff. And I think just doing my little like breeding area here just for now now I can clear it all away when I've got the flowers I want so we've got red poppy red tulip yellow dandelion oxide daisy cornflower allium I'm gonna put the sunflower over there and I'm gonna put the two tall flowers to one side now what do I have over here I've got the daisies already do I not have any lilies of the valley do I not have those anywhere Oh, there's one. Because they don't use the flowers by taking the pollen, so I can always put it back. So I'm missing some more tulips and peonies and rose bushes. But I think if I just grab my broomstick, have a little fly over here, we may be able to find some other things. Oh, there's a fox. Well, hi, little buddy. I'm gonna put you in a lasso. I'm gonna take a fox home. I mean, I came out for flowers, but a fox is a good friend to have. Now we have blue orchid, orange tulip, red tulip, 
Pink Tulip, Azure, Peonies, Lilacs, and I just need a rose bush. And then I think I have most of them. You know, I'm going to grab some bone meal and I'm going to go and see what my fellow server mates have and see if I can just duplicate some because I definitely don't have any there, but I do have plenty of bone meal. So we'll go to Lizzie's. Lizzie is the source of this mod and is a good example of what the mod can do. If we just have a little run up here and I just turn around and go da 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 da. Look at this. This is so pretty. This is what I want to emulate. This level of cute. So we need to find some rose bushes and Lizzie strikes me as the one that would have rose bushes I just don't know where like I don't want to go into her house to get them I'd rather just see if there's any about maybe Joel has some he does yeah I can bone meal some I will just grab a couple rose bushes thank you I'm not seeing any white tulips and Joel doesn't strike me as the type that would pick up white tulips but also Joel's area is looking sick look at this you've got a windmill sign at the back that says Jeremyville a barn you really out here trying to like show me up for me making my area cute. He's went for a very green and brown aesthetic. I'm going for a very white and blue aesthetic. Okay, I ended up giving up and asking if anyone had a white tulip and Flip said he did. He says he's got a lot. I think this is white and I think that's white. Can I just have one of them? Mr. Flip? <gasps> Yay! And I have a white tulip. I've completed my mission. Now we can go. I've went to the wrong plate. No, I haven't. I came home. Thought I misclicked, but I did not. Okay, we will add our white tulip and we will add our rose bush. There we go. I think this is all the vanilla flowers. So now it's on to the more complex part of, I need to like hold them and plant them like actual plants. And then I need to also crossbreed just to see what we get. I also think I'm gonna go and just put my little fox friend into this hole. It was my manhole for a while, and then it was a crab hole, now it's a fox hole. You enjoy. When I eventually build a place for you to live properly, I will move you to it. It's just temporary housing, guys, it's fine. Right, now we get on to the pollening. So what I need to do is I will grab the orchid pollen jar, and I'll pop it onto that, and I got a cyan bougainvillea seed, which I planted there. And I think I kinda want to try putting blue orchid pollen onto all of them, them, just to see what we get because I think that's going to be a lot of cyans and I mean I told y'all before that's kind of what we're going for all the tulips give me hyacinths we've got clovers dandelions daisies dianthus hybrid cyan alliums that's exciting and now we're on to the tall ones what are we getting foxglove cyan sunflowers cyan roses and cyan jasmine so I'm kind of understanding it the way it kind of works is like the first flower that you take from is the color you will get and then the second flower you mix it with is the type of flower it will be. So like I'm taking blue and then I'm going to put it onto the lavender so I'm going to get a blue lavender style which is what the jasmine looks like. And now I need to just bone meal them. So the jasmine I think work as they might be vines actually. They're very cute but it's actually not going to help for this specific build. So I don't need any of the jasmines. Let's try the rose bushes. These are very cute and I think the rose bushes will work well. The sunflowers are just going to look like cute sunflowers which is actually going to work quite well because of the direction the world is. So that'll look cute. Oh these are adorable. Oh I love those. Those are cute and I just need to see what all these other cyan flowers look like like I've just got to think what ones will look good as a clump like definitely hyacinths hyacinths look great what are these at the back what are you poppies the poppies look good okay if it's a flower I'm using I'm gonna put it over here just to make it easier to manage okay these are a very cute color scheme doing the cyan the white and the blue okay I think I need to go and plot out the fields first and then know what I'm gonna put in each one and I think that is the best way to do this so I want to have a path coming up the middle here I think first so I'll maybe do the path and then I will do the flower fields I'm also gonna take my beacon away Way because I do not need that here and for now I'm going to do the path just using normal minecraft path like right click with a shovel path but I will eventually dig it all up and replace it probably with a path similar to like this okay so I think the flowers are probably going to start from this level so I think I'm just going to work on the path 
here. I kind of just want it to slalom up the slope here and just look really cute. It's my goal for most things, honestly, just look very cute. And I'm just going to, for my current sake, just bring it out like this. And that's the sort of path we have here where it will go down. I can just bring up a couple more bits on either side and it looks very cute for the moment. I think this works very well. Now is when the hedges come in. So I'm now going to run the hedges along the edges of the path and then I will go in and like section them off even more I think. Obviously this is all purely for aesthetic rather than trying to like keep mobs out. So I'm not gonna make sure it's super like mob proof and protected mobs can't get in ever. Okay, I think that looks really cute already. We can also just hop onto our broomstick just to kind of grab a little aerial view. And yeah, that looks so cute, that little path. And this is gonna look so good when there's flowers all around it. Oh my goodness, this is gonna look amazing. I'm so excited. So I think I'm gonna need to hold the whole ground and then see what I need. I think I'm gonna turn it into like actual flower fields, I think of probably seeds rather than me just planting them. Because it then means if I ever need them again, I can always just come over and grab it. Now I was gonna do hedges in between them to section them off, but I honestly think just the slope itself will be the division. So every time it goes down a layer, it will change flower. Same as on this side, I think the areas, I sort of evened them out so that it's around the same. Not as much on this one. This will be a lot more of a certain flower. I might run a hedge or something around here, or I might actually just take my shovel and churn through this bit and separate it. Yeah, I think separating it so it's part of like this slope on its own works better for me. Now just begins the hoeing the ground phase. That's gonna take a while. I'm also gonna need to pop in some buckets of water just so that the crops grow. But I think that'd probably look quite cool as a time lapse. So let's jump into that. <laughs> So as you can see, I now have all of this land hoed and ready. I just used little water pockets that I think I'm gonna put some aura lamps underneath just to light up the fields as well. So it will hopefully stay well lit enough that mobs do not spawn. And I just left like a couple layers of the grass around the bottom, not hoed um, without crops on it. I think it just kind of works the best way. So we now need to get onto the task of putting in our flowers and deciding what we're gonna have. So. I think I'm gonna aim for the flowers I've got to start with and then we'll lay them all out in areas and if I have any more areas that I need filled out, I can come and get more flowers. That's the plan. So I'm gonna pop everything that I do not need into this backpack. It is a mess and it upsets me. Grab my bone meal and I need hyacinth, rose bushes. I don't think I need the clovers. I'm just gonna grow them here and decide what I need. So I think I should just be able to right click and spam just to give me a bunch of seeds. Cyan, hyacinth, seeds. So I think the hyacinths are really pretty and probably one of my favorites that I kind of want to take up the biggest area. So I'm thinking I'll plant these here and kind of work my way around this big bit on the bottom just off the cyan hyacinths. Can I plant these on the whole ground? I can. I'm just gonna pop a few of these down here right at the edge just so I remember what seeds it is I'm planting. And then we're gonna move on to one of the other ones. We'll do the white rose bushes here and then we will do cyan rose bushes I think up on this top level because I'm trying to not have like two of the same colors next to each other well actually I've done it here I'm also realizing I've just broken my rules because 
that has to be a two high flower. Does that mean it's going to be a two high flower on the other one as well? Two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, it's going to be two along the top. You know, I might not actually do that. I might just do two there, two tall here, and then I'll leave the top as one flower high. Just because I don't want it to cover too much of the lighthouse with its all tall flowers, which I think it might do. So I'm going to kind of change that up. I made a rule and now I'm breaking it. You know, I could maybe make another two high flower that's blue using like the lilacs or something. Or there's always sunflowers, but they're not my favourite. Let's try blue with a lilac, which is what makes a jasmine, which is the vine, so that doesn't work. The rose bush would be short. The peony is what makes the fox trot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, foxglove. Dang it, I don't know if there is any other two high flowers. Like, in the colours I want. There's actually plenty of two high flowers. Okay, so we now have our flowers in the right fields. I am now just going to need to kind of go round and bone meal them and grow them up plant more, just a cycle. It's, it's gonna take a while, I think. But for the video, it won't. So you're all lucky. You'll see it all finished by the end, hopefully. I'm just gonna need to spend some time going around and doing that. And I'm gonna put some light sources underneath the water holes as well, just to make it light up at night. So I'm gonna get on with that. Okay, as you can see here, we have a ton of flowers. I'm gonna just grab a quick aerial view, but I have planted these fields with blues, whites, and cyans. That's all there is. There's white flowers, blue flowers, and cyan flowers as far as the eye can see up this hill. I love it. I think it looks super pretty. But now we need to go on to building the lighthouse. That's the next thing. A lot of the flowers have grown in already, but there are a few that are still to like fully fill out, like those poppies and different rose bushes and sunflowers and such. Obviously I staggered it like one block, two block, one block, two block, one block, one block. And I think it looks really cool. I really like this area. I think it was a good use of the space. And I also started putting a few off the spear flowers I had just sort of dotted around the paths because I can always get more of these colors easily and these are the kind of colors that I would use in this area using the blues and the whites and such. I might eventually maybe make a different area like over there that's all pinks or something just so I can use more blocks but for now I'm quite happy with the blues and the whites. So I have a bunch of materials here that I'm going to use for this lighthouse and I'm just going to go and grab some dirt to do my dirt Peppering, stacking. I could make scaffolding, but I don't want to. I don't like scaffolding. So, we're gonna grab our dart, we're gonna build this lighthouse, and let's get into another time lapse. <laughs> Okay, as you've seen from the time lapse, we are done. The lighthouse looks so cute up at the top there. I added these little archways with some lanterns. In the time lapse, they were actually one shorter, but I raised them all to be one taller so that like you weren't hitting your heads on the lanterns as you ran through. And I think this turned out so cute. Currently, the lighthouse is empty. I don't have anything in here at the moment but if you can think of anything I should use this for let me know. I just more wanted it for the aesthetic side of things because I wanted something at the end here to sort of fill out this spot and I think it looks so cute. So now that I have the base layer of the path down, I've also got a bunch of these stone paths, which I'm just going to randomly dot about, as it just adds another level of depth to the paths. And I just need to make sure I don't have any overhanging the stairs like this, just because those look weird. And there we go. That's all connected up, all pathed up. I've obviously left this little bit sticking out here because that's where the bridge will go. This looks so cute. This honestly looks so adorable. I love having this. This is slowly becoming my favorite like area I've ever had in the series. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of 
X-Life, if you did remember to leave a like, let me know what you think of my new area. Do you like the flowers? What ones are your favourites? I really like the hyacinths. I just like the model. I think they look really cute. And I'm loving this. I think this is slowly coming together very, very well. And I'm really happy to see how it turns out as we continue to go. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, click that subscribe button so you do not miss a video and turn on the notification because I upload X-Life twice a week so you do not want to miss one. And I will see you all next time. Bye!